I discovered something this morning that few things in my life have surprised me. This was really surprising. What? My wife and I have both been trying to get it, get a little, get into better shape. We want to feel stronger. I don't want my gut to be flopping over my belt. I get it. I know that I'm not obese, but when your shirts are clinging to your belly all the time and your jackets don't button anymore, yeah. you want to make a change. <laughs> I would I'm like to things. introduce you to 80% of my closet. Okay. Good talk. So I am uh, trying to work out and I'm telling you, I'm doing these 20 minute workouts, these 10 yeah. minute workouts. I'm trying to get uh, away from carbs and all of this. My wife said to me a couple weeks ago, you know, I think I'm going to try to move away from that hazelnut creamer. And, and I got this other more boring creamer and whatever. And I said to her. I'm very anti-processed hazelnut creamer. And I am very pro. Would love to endorse them until this morning. You know, it's not actual cream. Found that out <laughs> later this afternoon as well. There is no dairy. There's nothing in there. Anyway, I said, you know, that's. In my head, I'm thinking, that's a silly thing to cut out if you're trying to get in better shape because that's a small thing. That's your coffee in the morning, whatever. Like, you know, make bigger, better choices. But if you want to have your coffee and your hazelnut creamer, so be it. I have long thought that. Okay. I then looked a couple days ago at the nutrition facts on the hazelnut creamer. Oh, uh First, let me, no, 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 but hear me out. It's not as simple as you think, Libby. This is the kind that we get, and we will get these four or five at a time. Well, I say get as many creamers as they have. You we buy go, it that big? Yes, all the time. We have multiples. And we go through them so fast. And I looked when my wife wasn't around. I looked at the nutrition facts. And then I, she came down. I said, you know, there's five grams of sugar in there. Five grams. Every morning you're starting, boom, five grams of sugar. Probably. What's the serving size? A serving size is a tablespoon. Yeah, and nobody's doing a tablespoon. You know how small a tablespoon is? It's a spoon that you put I on the table. found out this morning how small a tablespoon is. You're I using now, at least three to four. I am now going, so here's what I thought. I thought I'm probably using two tablespoons. That's 10 grams of sugar and more math. I have three cups every morning and I have <gasps> one more after radio before I come into Twin Cities Live. So that's four. So I said that means every morning I've got 10 grams of sugar three times, 30 grams before I sit down to do radio. You're drinking soda for breakfast. Then another 10 before I come in to do Twin Cities Live. Hot diggity dog. Stevie Boy thought, you know what, while we've already cracked open this can of worms, uh -huh. why don't I pour it in and figure out how much this really is? Maybe it's just a tablespoon. So you, I'm going to show you how much I pour in. So my you coffee. do a pour like into the cup and then you add your I, coffee? Yeah, because then it's self-stirs. That's self -stirs. what I like to do. It's yeah. self-stirs. I, I do that too. We have mugs that are a little bit bigger than this mug. Um, so this is, this is a little bit smaller. So if you see me pouring, you'll be like, whoa, but ours are a little bigger. But here's how much creamer I pour yeah, what's into the oh, You know, oh, here's, it, here's what I need. You got another here's one? Here's what I need. I've got old water from yesterday, and I'm thirsty, I so know, I think I'm going to drink it. it. This is normal. <laughs> is that okay? All right. You know, some coffee, I would okay. go. Ooh, and then oh. I would think, oh, do I want to stop? And then I'd say, yeah, let's no. do a little more. Oh, God. No! No. What I did this morning. Oh, my gosh. This is ruining your life. In a real moment of bravery. Yeah. Is And you, by the way, I feel like I just underpoured myself here. Let's find out. How and light is your coffee? It's not that light. That's the crazy thing. And that's why I think more people... I, you would not look at my coffee and say, you want a little people you know, make coffee fun with of me that cream? People make fun of me. All right. That, yeah. I'm going to pour this in now. How much is this? And I think I went a little bit light there. No, Steve Okay, Patterson. so I think I went a little light. So let me tell you what it is, and then let me tell you what I found out, Libby. That is four ounces, at which point I called on one of my robot assistants, and I said, how many tablespoons are in four ounces? Half a cup. This robot woman had the audacity to say to me. How many? I don't even know. There are eight, <gasps> which means I have 40 grams of sugar processed in the first cup. 40 more in my second, 40 more in my third, before I have sat in this flat butt. How is my butt flat when I have this much sugar coursing through my body? This explains so much about your demeanor. I have had 120 grams of sugar before I get there. I have another 40 grams of pure sugar before I come in. So, Stevie boy, let me speak to myself for oh a moment. Oh my gosh. As you wonder, why at the age of 37 am I having trouble getting rid of this gut? Could it be, could it be the 120 grams of sugar that I have before 9 a.m. every day or the extra 40? And by the way, I poured this a few times at home and a couple times it felt normal and came out to five ounces, Whoa. which would put me to essentially about 100, you get to like 135 grams there before you can easily get north of 160 grams of sugar. You know, in, uh, in my research that I just did today, you are only supposed to have six added teaspoons of sugar 24 per day. Grams. 
I do that within the first four sips. <gasps> this was shocking. And now I, I, and I have loved you, and I need to be very clear about that. You have been there. As time has gone on, I've started using more of you mm -hmm. and uh, feeling the effects less of you. This is like any addiction, my friends. Mm -hmm. And you have been there, and I've enjoyed you in any size. Yeah. And now I've realized all of a sudden that you are making me fat. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna throw that away? Or are you gonna finish it? Are you gonna have one last hurrah? Well, I know that if I throw it away right now, as I was just thinking, I'm gonna crack open that door and pour it. I know that I'll get emails and people will say you, you wasted, wasted food. food. And let me tell you who ain't got time for that email. Yeah. Your boy. Don't say that. I just found out that I've been poisoning myself yeah, with that's, 150. You are grams made of, of cane juice. That's you. What's You're just happen cane juice. When I stop doing this and I erase 1,000 grams of sugar in a week like that. I don't know, but I it's going to be I shocking. I get a flower You've been stomach. running on sugar. I've been running on sugar. And I am, my eyes have never been as open as they are to what I've been doing to my coffee as they were this morning. I, wow. I, when I did the math and she said, there are eight tablespoons. And then I said, well, eight times five is 40 in my book. <laughs> and I do three of them. That's 120. <laughs> With that. You put a half a cup of creamer in every cup. You know what? Boy, I love hazelnut, though. Isn't hazelnut? You know, Brugger's has a hazelnut flavored coffee that is wonderful. And that's why I drink it, because that is very good neat. I've never had my creamer neat before. Well